Appreciate it, man. Need all the help I can get. How you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good. Let me put my headphones in. I just poured my coffee, you know, the market closed. You made another meal? And came down a little bit at the end, but you know, hey. Yep. Yeah, you can't win all days. I mean, either your stock's winning or your cover call's winning. So in that in that sense, you know. A lot of wins. Yeah, if you're uh, if if you're have your cover calls in place, then if your stocks go down, then your cover calls go up, right? I mean, the cover call. Yeah, your paycheck. So you get paid regardless. I see that. I used to only get paid some of the time. Now I'm getting paid after I met you. I'm getting paid more often. <laughs> flattery, flattery. Have you been working in your journal? Tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. You playing hooky? No, man. Um, I'm full time. Hang on one second. I do a text. I want you to start off by telling me uh, what you learned so far. Give me, give me a brush up. General stuff, please. General, general. Um, well, uh, very simply, um, we have criteria for the stocks that we choose, um, including but not limited to uh, a long-term uh, chart that goes from the left bottom corner to the top right corner. So good long-term strength, lots of volume, um, you know, good PE, stock splits, etc. cetera. Uh, right to covered call, three to, I think seven, we said last time, three to seven weeks. Try to get two to 5% a month. Uh, I learned that Eric's brain don't know squat. Um, I journaled that. I don't think my brain knows much more than that. Anyways. Uh, and it's always a good time to write a covered call. So that, you know, the option chain is our paycheck. You know. Who's in charge of your brain? What's that? Who's in charge of your brain? Oh, I am, man. I, I tell my brain what's up. The brain's the servant, not the master. That's right. You're doing good. Continue. Um, uh, let's see. Also learned uh, uh, about. Uh, I learned about PE. I didn't really understand that before. Learned about market cap. Um, we need market cap that's more than a house in Beverly Hills. I think it was. Um, you said you've got many houses in Beverly Hills, and. Uh, you know, Marcus Cast got to be more than that, man. Got to be more than that. <laughs> so, learned a lot. And then, what's our end goal? Our end goal? End goal is to uh, be green, I guess. I don't know. To, to retire into. Yeah, that's right. Retire into the stock market. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, what session are we on? Nine. That was good. Very good. You're about ready for your Harvard presentation. Just throw in, yeah. throw in little, uh, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues and graduates. I'm here to present to you uh, what you haven't heard for the financial plan. Not that you're in the classroom, but that you're going to do in the stock market. Yep. Et cetera, et cetera. Got a suit and tie picked out and everything. Yeah, wear a suit and, wear, wear a suit and tie. I'll be impressed. Like, you get a star. Hmm. Have you been trading? Yeah. I end up, um, I think, three days ago, we talked about uh, 
my covered call on Apple. I told you I didn't have one at the time. It was shooting up. It looked really good. I think it was a Wednesday. It was either yesterday or Wednesday. It looked really good, gapped up. It was a beautiful day. After that, it started to pull back a little bit. And I said, you know what? Let me, let me just in case, let me write a covered call. Um, I ain't going to tell you which one it is because you're going to yell at me. But uh, it, let, let me just say it was, it was a covered call to allow for more share growth than what you taught me to allow for. Um, but it was still, I wrote the 130 because I was like, man, if Apple takes off, plus there's a big announcement coming, you know, with the 5G phones, I was like, so I was like, let me get something in place though. And I'm glad I did because for days like today and uh, yesterday, I think so. I won't get mad at you for writing the 130. Apple could move up. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, um, it was still 420 for one month, the premium. So, I wrote the 130 for 420. And, um, because I, even though, like you said, you can always buy it back and write another call. You know, I'm still young, so you just put I'm still in November. November. Yep. Yep. Write that down. November you want the four thirty call. I'm sorry, you wrote the one thirty call for four dollars and thirty cents, which is four hundred and thirty dollars income. Four hundred shares. Per one hundred shares. So one goal would be to collect 200 shares of Apple. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What other stocks do you have? Um, share with the share with the audience. Apple. Share with the class. Yeah, I got Apple. I got Comcast. C, what's the symbol? C M C M C S A. C M C S A. S A. Um, Apple's about, I saw Apple about 119. It was down a little bit today. What's Comcast mm -hmm. at? Comcast running around. So don't check. Just you remember what Comcast was at. Oh, Comcast is roughly 40, about 44.90, 45, somewhere in there. I spent 44.90. Uh, what other stocks you went to? Do you like? Give me, give me like two or three more. Um, that's it for right now. You just focusing on those. Yep. Let me um, give you uh, just a couple spots to look at. Don't, don't. If you're focusing on two, then focus on two. But let me give you a couple ideas of Zoom ZM. Mm -hmm. It's about, um, I think it was like, uh, it's like around 600. I'm going to put, I'm just going to put 580. I don't know the exact price of it. Um, this one's really moving. It has a really high PE, so it's risky, but it's been moving up to 580. ZM, Zebra, uh, Zebra Michael. 584. And let's do, uh, do you like Nike? Yeah. Put Nike NKE. Very strong. Um, that, that, they that's on that. That's something I, I've been looking at that lately, and it's that is a strong stock, man. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put 120. They may announce uh, a stock split, you know, maybe listen in the next month or two. Really? So if they do, be ready for that. Yeah. Um, been watching Nike for many, many years, and uh, they announced stock splits, you know, north of 100. So if they could, they could let it run up, but they might announce stock split, in which case it will run up and then split and run up again. Do stocks normally run up into stock splits? Yes. Because exactly. I know Apple exactly did. What you, exactly what you said. Exactly like Apple, but probably not as um, robust as Apple. Apple would be the exception. But Apple moves so much, you know. Uh, Tesla. See what happened to Tesla? That, that had I run even more than Apple. So... It depends on the stock, you know. Um, I would say, I say that uh, stock uh, stock split is always uh, generally always good. 
a forward stock split. I didn't say reverse stock split. Stay away from those. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad sign. Two. That's a bad sign. Two for one, three for one, seven for one, four for one. Apple did a, a four for one and tested it five for one recently. And now they're kind of digesting their gain. You have to give it some time to kind of have the new price accepted by the public and then it'll be it'll it's spacing so it's just spacing and going up and then it should start heading higher you know like i said um apple can, can afford a pe of about pe of about 40 price earnings of about 40 i think it's like about 36 right now 37. um does comcast have a pe do they make money on paper right now um i believe so zoom does but zoom is like um like 670 PE. Dang. Nike, Nike is about, uh, I want to say, about, say about 80 to 90 PE. Yeah, well, you know, Zoom is, is, is getting so much um, attention right now because we're, Zoom, we're Zooming right now. Because of yeah. the uh, pandemic, people are afraid to meet in person, so they're doing Zoom meetings. They're doing Zoom meetings instead of doing board meetings, you know? Why, uh, why take a chance? They're gonna, you know, they're afraid they're gonna catch something. So, uh, Zoom is the main, they're the head. So, everybody's buying them, and, um, you know, I figure the company will probably expand, you know, over the next, let's say, year. And the, the, the I want you to look at the, um, cover call. Oh, that's your, that's your homework. Look at the cover call for Zoom. All right. Not telling you to change your stock, but if you did get what sixty thousand uh, dollars, you get a hundred shares by a cover call. How much are we going to get paid a month? And will that pay your bills? Will that pay your mortgage, your car finance, your all your credit cards if you have any? Uh, pay for all your dinners. Take your wife out. Homework. Study. Zoom. Yeah. Now, Nike doesn't quite pay enough um, for cover calls. And um, Nike, you said? Yeah, Nike. And uh, I like to have the shares and also have an, a, a couple call options. I want to talk about that today, call options. Um, I think I think you're you are being uh, conservative, right? And not oh, yeah. And not doing call options. Is that right? Or do you do call options? Do you buy call options? Call options? No. Okay. Well, uh, we're talking about the poor man's cover call. All so right. That in involves buying a call option. Basically, you're buying a call option instead of buying 100 shares of stock. That's basically what's happening. And, and uh, on the cover call, as you own the shares and rent out the shares to the public, you rent you rent out the upside, which means you collect money by agreeing to sell the stock at a certain price. In this case, the strike price. In this case, you sold Apple 130. So you agreed to sell, you own the 100 shares of Apple. You agreed to sell the 130 uh, for next month. Uh, meaning you give away the upside. If it goes to 150, you just gave away 20 points of upside. If it goes to 140, you gave away 10 points of upside. But if it goes to 125, which you probably will, you didn't give away anything because you have the shares up to 130. And for that, you get a premium, in this case, $4.30 per share, which is $430. And can we divide, um, can you divide 4.3 by 120, sir? Can you do that without 4.3 divided by 120? Can you do that for us? Yep. And here's your return for November for the audience. It'd be 3.58%. Uh, 3.58. I like how you put the 8 because that's almost 3.6. Yeah. So good job on that. 3.58% return. Return. Per month. I want you to do that 10 times a year. You're going to get around 35% return. 36%. And you're going to probably have, it depends on how you trade. I mean, you can do a little bit better. 
like trading, but you can also do a little bit worse. I don't like to over promise, like to under promise and over deliver. So I'm gonna say, let's come out, let's try to have it come out with 30% return, okay? Because the stock might go up to, you know, 150, then you have to buy the cover call back. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you have to buy the shares back and buy the higher cover call, so your costs increase. The stock may also go down to 110 or 115, and then you're losing some share growth. So your 3.5% may end up being 3%. I won't get mad at you, you know. But if, you, if, you're, if you're trading the cover call, if you write the cover call at 130 and um, you get $4.30, and then come Monday, Tuesday, stock goes down to 115, that $4.30 goes back down to three. Three dollars, you can buy a covered call back. So you you put back in three dollars. You gain one thirty. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Come Wednesday, Thursday, stock goes back up to one twenty, one twenty one, one twenty two. The one thirty call again. Now it's four fifty. So now you write the call again because when you buy it back, it's free and clear. So now you're actually increasing the the, the return now because you're successfully trading the covered call. You can do it twice a month, three times a month. Now you're gonna get 40, 50%, but you know, I don't wanna promise that. You gotta be pretty, pretty agile to do that. Cause that's definitely not gonna be done by a novice. That's gonna be done yeah. by a pro trader who is watching their stock, who's comfortable with their stock, who is, is uh, who is, is uh, who's an able trader and who knows, has a goal, you know, hey, I, I wrote the cover call for 430. If it, comes, if it goes back down to three, I buy it back, let's say within a week. You know, if you're if you're not sure or if you're iffy on it, just leave it. Let it expire. Wait till next month. Do it again. That's our plan. But hey, if you can see a trend, if Apple's going up between let's say 120 to 130 or 115 to 125, you can see a trend peaks and valleys, peaks and dips. Then you can write the cover call when it swings up, let's say to 120, right to 130. And then if it goes down to 115 at 117, you can buy it back. It goes back up to 120, 125, write it again. Mm -hmm. Go down to 120, one, you know, buy it back. So now we're gonna get maybe, I'm gonna just put down 40% return. So when we when make that clear, there's no, there's no limit. You know, you can always improve your trade. You can always trade and improve your account. Um, I got a question. Yes. As far as uh, talking about trading the covered call, buying it back and uh, rewriting it if it goes up, is there any kind of a rule of thumb on um, like what percentage we buy it back at, like within a week or two weeks, or, or is it just kind of play it by ear once you get good, comfortable with it? Um, a couple of guidelines I use is uh, I just go by dollar amount, you know, because if, if you have, let's say, three contracts, and you're buying and you buy sell it for 430, you buy it back for 330. That's 300 dollars you made, right? Because you sold it for 430, you buy it back for 330. Um, that's uh 300 dollars you made. So that's decent. But if you have one contract, maybe you want to get a little bit more, you know, just to make it worth your while and you're worth your time. Um, because you're taking a chance. When you buy back that cover call, you're taking a chance because yeah, if the stock ends up um just going down and and, and not coming back up. Let's say for the month, let's say uh, you wrote the cover call uh, for 130, like you did, you got four dollars and thirty cents. So you get that money. That money's in your account. But then, but then Apple dips. Let's say to one. Uh, let's say to one seventeen. You buy, let's say, you buy back for three dollars. Well, check it out. If Apple ends up kind of staying at one seventeen, going to one fifteen, one fourteen, and not going back up. Then you basically missed out because. You pay three dollars or three hundred per contract to get it back, but you didn't really have a chance to sell it again when it swung up. Yeah. So now, now we're, we're in November. You only sold it. You only got a dollar thirty. You bought it back, but didn't sell it again because you didn't see the opportunity. Now we now we're going into December, so we lost the time and we lost a little bit of premium. Mm. So I would say just look at the dollar amount. You know, if let's say a hundred dollars, let's say a hundred dollars. You know, a hundred dollars. It's meaningful to you. You can trade. That can be a trade. Some people you, they need to make two hundred dollars. So you're trading less, but you're you're trading um, with a goal in mind. Like, hey, can I make two hundred dollars? 
you know, that does that does that pay for my car note? Mm-hmm. You got a car note? Yep. How much is it? I got a lease. It's about two eighty a month. So think about that. Let's say so that the trade can make two eighty. You know, you already made two eighty with the with the cover call. But here's an idea: you made two eighty. You made four thirty with the cover call for Apple. So why take a chance? You know, keep that. You know, but if you uh, see, you know, these peaks and valleys, like I said, if you see it's gonna come down and come up, then you're taking a chance by buying it back. But if you can do it successfully, you can increase that three point five. 8% return, maybe 4%, maybe 5%. Mm-hmm. And speaking of which, um, Netflix, Twitter, and Netflix, TWTR, and Netflix is paying close to 5%, 45 to 5% a month on the cover call. I just let you know. Yeah, I saw Twitter pulled back quite a bit here this week. But isn't that the right thing because it's swinging up yeah. and it's pulling back. Isn't that like ideal for traders, right? Yeah. We do a cover call. We have a chance to buy back the cover call. It just swings up by the cover call, comes back, buy it back. You know, for those who have shares, if you just have, you know, some people have 10 shares, 20 shares. So swings up to 48, sell, go down to 44, buy, you know, yeah. uh, look at the peaks and valleys. Uh, meanwhile, Meanwhile, you have a good stock, uh, a stock that at least you know is going to maintain, a stock that's on your core 10, <clears throat> core 10 stocks list, 10 stocks list, focus, select, study, select, and focus on your core 10 stocks list, 10 stocks. That way, you don't have to worry about 100 stocks, 200 stocks. You know, I talked to some of these traders that they think they're successful. And they're trying to trade, you know, 100, 200. They're trying to trade any stock that comes on Friday. They put the one on Friday. Oh, Kramer. Oh, we like this stock. Yeah. So how can they even do that successfully? They don't even know what they're trading. They don't even check the P. They don't look at the 10-year chart. You know, has Kramer ever said, hey, look at this 10-year chart? Past results are indicative of future re- of, of future results. Have that has has Kramer ever said that ever? Doubt it. So focus on ten. That way you don't have to worry about a hundred stocks. And your stocks are the best stocks. They're peak. They have they need to have a return. They have uh, profits. They have a good ten year chart. They have what stocks what's happening. Hopefully, maybe dividends. Maybe they can double in two three years. Maybe uh, they, they're hitting all time new highs, right? This kind of stuff. They, oh, my favorite, they pay nice on the cover call. They pay 4% on the cover call, 3%. You said you said 2 to 5%. Um, let's, let's make that 3% on the cover call. Let's get 3% minimal or more. Yeah. I think you said 2%. I'm excited in 2%. Uh, I, I don't think that's enough. Because uh, you're going to have to endure the downside of the stock going down. And you're going to have to endure the possibility that stock's going to swing up. And you're going to pay more for it. So 2% is not going not gonna to get you there. Let's say, let's say 3%. Now, if it's 2.9 or 2.8, great. Okay, fine. You know, but let's just have 3% as a have threshold. A roll there. All right. For cover call minimum. Are you doing... Um, are you doing cover calls on Comcast? Um, Comcast? um <clears throat> yeah, I don't have one right now, but um, it's just not a good paying cover call. But but the thing is, like we talked about earlier, I get a discount for buying the stock, so I'm always going to have tons of Comcast stock. So because you um, work for the company, yeah, yeah, they got a, a stock plan. So for for the employees, so I'm write that down. Comcast stock. They wouldn't want to work for Comcast. They get a stock plan. That's it. You also try to work for Netflix or Apple, you know. That's what both, I need. Get the best Twitter. of both worlds. Yeah. Get the best of both worlds. Twitter, uh, Starbucks. That's what I need. I need a good covered call paying employer. Yeah, it would be covered calls. I think a lot of um, a lot of professional older traders know about the covered call, but they're they don't do covered calls because they don't. 
they don't think that you know three percent, four percent is enough, you know, <clears throat> enough return. They're trying to get 10%, 20%. And what happens is they don't get their 10 and 20 because they're not great traders. And they don't get their cover call, they don't get their dividend. And I, I, I teach, I teach, hey, you know, get a dividend, get a few hundred shares, get a good dividend stock, you know, IEP, PM, um, EMD. And that way you have foundation, you have income, you don't have to trade it's like it's like a support it's like a foundation yeah and then when you're doing these trades when you're doing these cover call trades and, and even stock market trades even option trades it's a hit and miss it's a hit and miss you're not going to hit get everyone but if you're in a good stock if you have the shares if you have the, if you have the dividends you're going to hit every time pretty much mm -hmm. you know so i teach dividends for foundation and i teach uh cover calls as a good income but also as a foundation and when you're doing your trading, when you're trading your stocks and trading your cover calls and trading your options, uh, it's risky. You're not going to hit every time. So you have the you have your dividends and cover calls to fall fall back on, and you're gonna you're gonna make money. That's why. So you have these uh, professional traders, independent traders, big big accounts. You know, they're 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 not trying to get. Uh, 5% a year on dividends. They're not trying to get 4% a month on cover call. They're trying to get, you know, 10, 20% per trade, but they miss. And then when the market, when the market turns, they're going to, they're going to miss again. They're going to get caught. Some of them, some of them will, some, some are just, you know, they make money regardless, but, and then they wish they had that cover call. They wish they had that dividend, you know, because I'm teaching something that's duplicatable that anybody can do it, that you can learn it, basic strategies, just doing them better, doing them well. Um, they might they might not like three percent return a month, but they have to have they have to have a perspective. They have to have the goal. What's the goal? What's the perspective to pay your car finance to pay the two eighty? You know that's paid, done. Mm -hmm. uh, to pay your to pay your rent to pay your mortgage. You know that could be done with another few contracts, right? Yep. So it's a different perspective then and then the goal is to quit your day job at nine to five because you can replace that income with stock market income and then just do stock market full time yep and then that's what i'm teaching the first 12 courses you can get you can get most of it what i teach you can you can do that like i said you're going to hit miss the market's going to turn but you're going to be able to make money and even in a, in a bad market you know even in a bear market, you can survive because like, what if you can get 5% return, which you will be able to get on a cover call. Let's say the, let's say the uh, market's going down 6% a month, you know, you get 5% return on your cover calls and the market's going down 6% a month on average, let's say. And by the end of the year, what's your, what's your percent at? What's your return? If, if it goes down the whole month or the whole year? The whole year goes down six percent a month average, and then you're getting five percent for cover calls. So what's your what's your net? Oh, I mean five percent a month is sixty percent. Just subtract the the loss, which is the the bear market. Oh, so if it, uh, forty eight, gonna get forty eight percent. Look, you're losing six percent a month. You're getting five percent on the cover oh, call. Oh, down what twelve. You're going to be down 12% for the year, but guess what? You survived. That's yeah. the thing, you survived. Other guys, their whole account's gone. And if they're a professional trader, they're trading somebody else's money. They get sacked. They get fired. So, if, you know, the bear market's going to separate the men from the boys. Always says that, you know? And that's where you know if you really know how to trade or if you're just... I, I see people on Cora, you know, all the time come to me, you know, hey, you know, I made... Uh, 30% return, I'm so happy, I'm, I'm doing so great. The market's up 40%, so you make 30% return, well shit, you're down 10%. <laughs> you be oh. doing just buying hold the spy or something. <laughs> you can, you can, you, you have to trade it all, you know, yeah, you can just buy the hold, you know. <laughs> now, now, uh, I do a uh, rate, I do a favor, I do rate trading above buying and holding because when you're trading, you're getting income, right? So if we're doing cover calls, let's say on Netflix, let's 
percent Apple will get three or four percent return, right? So that income in this case four thirty, you you have to pay your bills, you know, at least at least pay half, at least use half to pay your bills, the other half mm -hmm. you can keep it in your account, right? So uh, that's income. You that's uh, you can write a check. You can do a transfer into your account, right? Yep. I get checking because I have to do checks, but I'm old school. But if you don't do checks and just do transfer, like you made four thirty, transfer half, <coughs> transfer half, transfer uh, two to fifteen into your checking and and pay bills. You take your wife out to dinner. So check it out. Let's say Apple went up uh, twenty percent. Let's say in in uh, six months, right? And let's say you only made. Um, 18% in six months. Let's say, let's say low, let's say 3% a month times six is 18. They can say, well, you just had to hold the stock. No, because that income, that's income you got, and you can live off that. The people who, okay. held, the, held, who held the stock, even if it's more, even if it's 25%, the people who held the stock didn't really make anything because they haven't sold, they haven't traded. There's no, they, they can't pay their bills. They want to pay the bills, they got to sell. If they sell, now they're trading. Yep. When did it sell? You know, now they're like you and me. If they're gonna, if they're gonna sell, well, when did it sell? When it's high? When it's low? When it's mid, mid, mid range? You know, yeah, you gotta be a trader. So, I rate trading over uh, long term investing, and uh, that's because we can, uh, traders can get the money; they can live off the account. You can't live here, live off your account by holding shares, even do a bull market. You'd have to sell. You have to sell shares. You can't retire into the market buying and holding. Yeah, I mean, eventually you'd have to, you'd have to sell, you know, and uh, what happens a lot of people, honestly, they get these big accounts, million, two million, three million, five million, and they never really trade, they just kind of hold it, and they end up dying, and then their kids fight over the money, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm all for trading, even if you're getting less money because you're paying your bills, and that's, it doesn't really matter how much money you get, what matters is, that uh, you you achieve your goal. You know, if your goal is to pay your car finance two eighty, that's the first goal. Here, goal one. Goal one. One pay car finance. Get to get that out of the way two eighty, and then you can do the next thing. You know, I want to take my wife out to dinner. Let's get let's give me another. Let's get another two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, right? They're gonna pay your rent. How much money do you need? You know, um, most people who work will get a chance to have a retirement fund IRA, a, a 401k. When they leave their job, they're gonna have all that money to trade. Well, you know, be careful. But hey, you know, what about cover calls? Can you be yeah. a pro trader and do these cover calls? Can you get some dividends? You know, you, when you do a 401k and an IRA or a pension plan. You're basically letting your company trade for you. They're going to put it in whatever stocks they want. You know, they're going to give you a small return from that. They're not going to, believe me, they're not doing it for free. They're taking their cut, believe me. Oh, whether yeah. it's whether it's in, in, in the forefront or the back office, they're taking their cut. So the difference is you're going to manage your own money. I'm teaching you how to pick your own stocks. They have mutual funds. I'm teaching you how to make your own mutual fund. The mutual fund right here is Apple, Comcast, Zoom, and Nike. Have a that for mutual fund, you yeah. know, that's going to be most all mutual funds I'll tell you right now. <laughs> don't you can't sell, you can't sell CCs on a 401 either, unless it's maybe self directed, but most of them you can't, right? You can't write cover calls on uh, mutual funds, you know. So you can say, I got a long term, long term gain, but how do you pay your bills? Can't be working, you gotta still work. <laughs> okay, great. So, uh, any questions on that? Nope. No, that makes sense. You started wanna, talking about the poor man's covered call. I want to cover that into... poor man's covered call, but I also want to know if you want to talk about anything else. We can we can do like a little short session, talk about the poor man's covered call, and then we can tidy up. But I want to know if you want to know about anything else besides that. Yeah, I want to ask you about, uh, you ever heard of the wheel strategy? That's uh, not really. You want to tell me what you know about it? Yeah, well, I was going to see what you thought about it. So basically, the wheel strategy is... Uh, so we'll take we'll take Apple for instance. So you sell sell uh, uh, Apple at the money naked put. If you don't get you know if 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 uh, 
if if it expires worthless next month, you do it again or next week, whichever one. You keep doing that until you get assigned. As soon as you get assigned, you sell a covered call. You sell covered calls until it gets called away, and then you just start back over with selling the naked foot. They call it the wheel because it just kind of you know it turns. Is that yeah. similar to what we're doing? I've heard about the wheel strategy. <laughs> I just didn't know it was called the wheel strategy. That's one, of the, wheel. that's one of the first things. Um, it's it's just a, a way of being inventive, you know. Um, in general, that's gonna that's gonna um, work, you know. In general, but it's it's not so special in the sense that you're not you're not um, writing the right, you're not selling the put or writing the put um, to get the stock, you know, because um, what you what they're doing they're writing the put to make money, and if you get the stock, great. And if you get the stock, then you write the cover call. So it's kind of creative, but really, um, it's just uh, uh, a system. I mean, it might work. It might work for you. My thing. My thing is um, when you do naked put, there's a difference. There's a di- first of all, there's a difference between naked put and cover call. Okay, I want to make that clear. I don't want people doing. I don't want my guys doing naked puts until they're very, very uh, aware and comfortable and understanding of the cover calls. Because when you do naked puts, you don't get the stock. Okay, the only way you get the stock is it gets assigned. If it gets assigned, then you come into the point where you're losing share growth because it gets assigned. Well, how far did it drop down? That's the question. Mm-hmm. And then you have to figure out how much you made on the premium. So, in a general sense, um, I only like to do the naked puts. Naked puts. Well, first of all, when they're naked, not covered, not cash puts, naked, not cash puts. So a, a naked put and a cash secured put are two different things? Uh, they're essentially the same thing, but you have to put a lot more money up oh, okay. to do a cash put and naked to, to do a cash secured put. So let's say, um, let me give you an example. Let's say Apple, okay? So on um, Apple, um, let's just do fifty percent. Let's do fifty percent margin, right? So, okay. on Apple, um, with fifty percent margin, which is kind of normal to have an account with fifty percent margin. I'm not saying the going margin fifty percent. I'm saying your account is set for fifty percent margin. Okay. I'm yeah. Saying. I'm not saying to use all that. I would never tell right. you to do that. But for Apple, if you want to do, say, doing cover calls, so Apple's one twenty. So it's going to take at least. Uh, 50% of that, which is, uh, in this case, uh, $6,000, okay, which is the cost of half your Apple shares. But with $6,000, you can hold 100 shares of Apple, okay? Mm-hmm. If you buy, if you use cash or if you didn't go in any margin, it would cost you $12,000 to hold 100 shares of Apple. You follow me? Yeah. And then you're getting, uh, let's say you're getting uh, 3%. I mean, I let's say we're getting three percent six right that's that's your example you have a six percent return on twelve thousand so here's here's the here's the the skinny on this all right if you're taking twelve thousand getting three point six percent return okay then what people do and i'm not telling you to do this but this is an option you can not six thousand let's say you can take nine thousand dollars by apple on margin so you're borrowing three thousand Okay, but you can do it with nine thousand. You can buy hundred shares of Apple and write the cover call. Still get four thirty, my friend. Okay, mm. but then if you if you only spent nine thousand, now we're going to divide four point three divided by ninety, and then what's the return on that? Four point three divided by ninety instead of the one twenty. So now it's going to go up to like six percent return. Tell me, that's four point seven seven. Four point three divided by ninety is what? Four point seven seven. I stand, I stand corrected. Now we're almost five percent return. Okay, so um, the cash put, cash put. Well, you told me it's a fine strategy. Okay, but so we're gonna so on the cash put we're gonna have Apple at uh, Apple's at one twenty. Let's say one nineteen, one twenty. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna sell the one fifteen put. Okay, I'm gonna get the same amount four thirty. Okay. But um, we don't have to worry until, actually not worry, but we're not going to worry. Take that back. Um, 
we're not gonna get it assigned on the, the shares unless it goes below 115. So it's Apple's at 119, right? The 115 put for next month. Same with same as the call idea, same idea as the call. We get to 430 and we're gonna so let's say we have to um we have to secure 115 points. So that's one eleven thousand five hundred dollars. So the cash secured put is going to secure eleven thousand five hundred dollars, hundred percent paid for stock, mm -hmm. no margin. Okay, so <clears throat> do this for me. Four point three divided by uh, one fifteen. What's the return? And that's <clears throat> and that's the return on your on your uh, naked put on your be cash three, cash put. Three point seven three. Three point seven three. Okay. That's a great return. Okay, but here's the thing. You're not gonna actually get those shares. So if you really want the shares, just buy them right to cover call. Okay. Mm -hmm. But hey, let's get 3.73% return. We're gonna take eleven thousand five hundred, which I know you have that money that money, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be getting four hundred and thirty dollars. It's kind of the same thing as a cover call. You get four hundred thirty dollars a month. You're writing the one fifteen. Let's say right one fifteen, you know, it, you might have to Go to 113, 118. It's just yeah. pick the one that pays you the amount you want. That's the thing I tell people when uh, my students, when you pull up the option chain, that's your paycheck. You can just pick, you can pick more money, less money, go farther out, go shorter out, you know, just cater it to what you want. You want to pay your car finance, pick the one that pays 280. Yeah. Or 560. Because then you could get 280, pay your car finance, and keep 280 in your account for what? For taxes, for reinvesting. Yeah, uh, you're not. You can't spend all the money you make, right? Right. You want your account to grow. You want to have some for taxes. So, um, your your uh, your put your writing writing the put writing uh, put, which is cash put in this case, it's getting you the four thirty a month. Great. It's getting you three point seven percent return. Great. So it's a little bit more than the cover call, but you're not going to have any share growth. So I'll put here no. Share growth. When you wrote the when you wrote the uh, one thirty cover call, you told me, "Hey, I want to allow for some share growth. Apple might swing up." That means that Apple's one twenty now. If it swings to one thirty, you're going to get nine points of share growth, nine hundred dollars. So you say you're going to make four thirty, which you already made on the cover call, but plus you're going to put a plus nine hundred dollars on share growth. Total is twelve hundred and thirty dollars. Now, I can't promise that because I don't know if Apple's going to go up. But if it yeah. does go up, you're going to have $1,200, my friend. On a naked put, you don't get any share growth. You just simply get that $430 every month, you're going to get the 3% return. That's the thing. Okay. So that's why that cover calls better. Now, I'm glad I recorded this because I want you to, re to replay this several times. But let me tell you how the naked put goes. What now they call naked put level three trading, level three trading, which is the highest level of trading. You saw them naked put naked, call, naked calls. Guess what? They're not going to have you put the cash aside, my friend. They're going to have you only hold like 30%. I'm going to say 50% because you need 50% to take the stock, which you may have to take it. I'm going to put 50%. Watch this, Vince. 50%. Naked put. You don't have the shares, and you can you're gonna get you can still get that 430 by just writing the put. You don't need to have the shares, and they're only gonna gonna hold as a maintenance put maintenance requirement. This is an important word for you maintenance maintenance requirement of 50 percent of the stock price. So the 115, which is where you'll take it at, divide by 50. What's that? Uh, 50, uh, 58 percent. I'm sorry, 58,000, 5,800. Mm -hmm. So they're only going to require $5,800 of your account, then to write the naked put, and they're going to pay you $430 <laughs> return, which is crazy. Yeah. Okay, which is now let's do this 4.3 divided by. 58. What's that? A whole lot. Let me see. It's 
it's probably twice what a 3.73 is, which is about 7.41, 7. a little bit more than double. So what, what some pro traders do, they'll not with your whole account because you're going to get in trouble. I'm, I'm going to warn you, do not do this with your whole account. Do one position if you have other, if you have dividends sitting there, if you have a cover call sitting there, if you have long-term share growth sitting there doing nothing on Zoom, on Netflix, on Twitter, on Comcast. Do one position, they're going to take 5,800. They're going to, they're going to give you 7.4% return. You'll still get the 430, but you only have to put up 5,800 in maintenance. That's the naked, naked put. That's the put that I'm talking about. That's the one I like to do. Okay. Wow. Um, so, so you can actually put half the money necessary and make the same return. All right. But the, the risk is that if it drops below 115, in this case, you're going to have to take that stock. They're going to, they're going to want you to take hundred shares of stock and you better have at least 50%, ideally, you know, 75, 80%, you know, so you have 50% and that's the only position you have, you're going to be in serious margin. You'd be, if it goes down even $1, you're going to be in a margin call. Yeah. You don't do it except for maybe 10% of your account, 15% of your account, I'll allow you to do it. But don't do it with your whole account. You're going to be in trouble if it goes down. So I have to do naked puts um, when you don't have to put up so much money with the small percent of the, of the account. Let me just write that down. Naked puts, puts are great when you have, let's say, 15% of uh, account allocated and you only have to put up 50% of the, of the stock price. Don't get in trouble now. Just do one position and watch your account, see how it goes. Don't get greedy, huh? Experience is the best teacher. So when you're talking about the wheel, okay, great, you know, but really for most people, it ends up being a cash put and you're just going back and forth to cover call. And I think the cover call is better because you can get share growth. Okay, first of all, cover call is better, write that down. Cover call better, call better than Cash put, cash covered put. And then the cash put would be second, but better than that would be the naked put. Naked put is best, but with both caution and restraint. Restraint, my friend. And what someone's gonna do, they're gonna hear this video, they're gonna say, hey, I don't have to put up 50% of my cash naked puts. Hey, look at this. I get 7.4% return. I'm gonna put the whole account, I'm gonna make 7% I'm gonna make 70% a year. And what's happening? The market's gonna turn, everything they get assigned, and they're gonna get a margin call and they're gonna lose half their account. So, <laughs> like I said, don't do it. Do it 15% of the account. That's it. Okay. Now, any questions on that? No, that makes sense. So uh, know about that trade, but also know what's behind that trade. You're just basically going back and forth, but not really getting the shares necessarily. And you're not really getting share growth unless you have the shares, unless you have the cover call. So uh, if you only have cash puts, I want you to work on getting approved for naked puts or naked calls. Naked calls, another one, you know, that way you really get in trouble for that one because you can write a cover call without having the shares. <laughs> so it's not covered, it's naked. Now now, when you sell a call, a naked call, if you get assigned, that means you're short those shares? Yes. Okay. I've never done it's that. A, it's a negative uh, 100, 100 shares of Apple. You know. what, what, we, what I do is it's close it right away or close it before you get assigned. But you should do a naked call just for the experience. You know? And don't even do that. Just, just let it sit there. Wait till they, they, my broker might call you, you know, or just let it sit there because you'll have the experience of getting assigned. That's what I say. Should I do it on Apple? Do it on Apple. That's a <laughs> Should I do it on um, um, Amazon? Do it on Amazon. 
<laughs> worst case, the worst case scenario is uh, you'll get a sign. You, you, let's say you make the, let's say this is 430, right? And uh, you're gonna get 430 and you're gonna write the 130 call, but you don't have the shares. So you're gonna get 430. You don't have the shares. It's a similar situation with the naked put. You only, they're only gonna really require like half. You don't wanna put like half, less than half really, but just say half in this case. I'm, I'm training you, I want you to get, you get brain blown up. Um, and if the stock, let's say the stock goes, uh, you get assigned on Friday, uh, on Saturday. On Saturday is when you get the assignment. On Monday, the market opens up and you have the shares. In this case, negative 100 shares. Let's say on Monday, Apple goes from 130 to 140. So now you're going to be out 10 coins because you're short. But you get 430 for the call, so you're going to be out 670. When you're, when, you're, when you're selling a naked call, does that require your margin as well, the same as a put? Uh, yeah, you can't do nothing without margin. All right. You don't have margin. You're going to – technically, it doesn't require margin, but you have to have margin account. Technically, when you do an option, they're not in margin. The, only, the margin is really for stock. It's really for stock buying and selling. But you need a margin account to do the trade, my friend. Margin. The first level on the, the first level is to go from the cash account to margin account. Nice these people. You can't really trade on a cash account. There's too many, many problems. You have to wait for settlement. They're not going to give you buying power. You know. The nice thing about a market account, the best thing about market account, is uh, let's say you're looking at Twitter for 44. Um, you would need four thousand four hundred dollars in Twitter. Do a cover call, you know, get like two fifty, which is great. Two hundred fifty dollars per month for forty four hundred. And I'm sure the best thing about margin is you can do it with with four thousand dollars. You know, just borrow four hundred, and they'll let you do trading back and forth. You don't have to wait. And if your if stock swings up a little bit, you don't have to put more money. The margin takes care of that, and you can trade. It's like it's just flow is much better. You know, mm -hmm. so you can do. Uh, Apple, this Apple here, the stock is 120, so that's 12,000. You can do it with 10,000, or in this case, like I said, 9,000, no problem. You're still getting the same return. You notice that your stock probably will maintain, so you're not really gonna get in trouble when the stock goes down. You lose a little bit more money because if you have 12,000 cash and you lose, let's say you lose 1,000, then you have 11,000. But if you only put 9,000, like I, like I wrote here, it was a thousand. Now you're at eight thousand. So now a, a larger percentage of your account has gotten dwindled. It's gotten diminished. So I gotta be careful. Don't, you know. I'll just put it. Let's put it here. Twenty-five to thirty percent margin. Absolute maximum. So I want you to get hit. The market will turn. The stock will go down. Yeah, I don't want you guys to get completely destroyed. It's just nice to have a little bit of margin. It just flows better. You can you can do more cover more cover calls. You have more choices. You have more options. You know, pun intended. Uh, what was your question? I ran ran away with that. Um, no, it was just basically about does would selling a naked call require the same amount of margin as selling a naked put? You answered that. Uh, yes, exactly the same. Because I know some people, some people like to sell. Uh, I think they call strangles. You sell a call and a put. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me just touch base on that. Um, let's just say, let's say a straddle. I don't want to get into the exact. That's that that that'll take another hour. You know, but yeah. a strangle is a straddle is a specific price for a straddle. You know. Strangle means you want to get exactly like you, you want to get, like you want to sell this put in this call. But that is that that's a, that's a that's a straddle. What it is is that if you have Apple at one hundred twenty, want to do we're going to sell the one hundred twenty call and the one hundred twenty put. Guess what? We're going to get paid on both. Okay, but only one side can be assigned. So in, in a way, it's like a magic position because you're getting paid twice. You can only, you only have the the downside of one side, but the chance of you being assigned is twice as high. So what you do, you do a strangle. We'll sell the 125 call on Apple. While Apple is at 120, we'll sell the 125 call or the 130 like you did. 125 is better. I mean, it makes more money. And then we'll sell the 115 put. So let's say we get $5 each. 
five dollars for the sub the call, one twenty five, five dollars for seven a put, one fifteen. We're gonna get a thousand dollars or uh, five points for each, and we can do that every month. And they're gonna just keep the same requirement for one side. They're gonna keep this. They're gonna get the same return, which is double return. And you're only gonna have to worry if if the stock goes up, you'll be short. If the stock goes down, you'll be long. Basically, makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then what you'll do, just because you brought that up, if you know what I'm talking about. If you sell, if Apple's 120, you sell the 125 call for a five. This is a this is a, a this is a strangle because you're doing specific specific uh, strikes, and you sell the 115 put for five, you get ten or a thousand dollars. The requirement is going to be, I'm assuming it's going to be like. Uh, Let's just say nine. Let's just say nine thousand because we we don't want to go in margin too much. So now we're getting we're getting the uh, we're getting basically the, the 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 return of the naked put, okay. But we're getting it we're getting it twice because we're getting we're getting paid on both sides, okay. But if Apple goes dead below one fifteen, we're going to take the shares of one fifteen. Apple goes up to 125, we're going to take the shares, we're going to be short at 125. So what you do, you take um, two points off, two points, which is $200. So we're going to, no, let's do this. Let's take four points off, be more safe. Take two points per side. And buy insurance, four hundred dollars. Buy insurance. We're gonna cover this later, but we're gonna touch base on it now. So we're gonna because we're short the one twenty five call, we're gonna buy, let's say the one thirty five call. One contract, the same as we're short. If we're selling two call, have to buy two calls. The higher. If we're if we're short one call, we're gonna buy one call. So mm. we're making we're making a spread. Now 125 to 135 is a spread. Now we're short 125. We buy one contract 135. That way it caps out our maximum loss. So if Apple goes yeah. to 150, we're not going to get killed. Yeah. We max out at 135. The most we can lose is 10 points on this side. And then on the naked put, let's say it crashes down, probably won't. But we're going to buy insurance just in case. So we're going to buy the 105 put. So because we sold the 115 put and we bought the 105 put, we're going to limit our loss to 105. So this way, we, we're going to make two spreads on each side. Instead of getting 10 points, we're going to put two points into buying the higher call and two points into buying the lower put. So instead of getting 10 points, we're going to get six points profit. So it's going to be net credit spreads, which are strangles of six points or 6,000, I'm sorry, $600, okay? And we only have to put, have, have to put up, uh, in this case, um, 9,000. That's, that's what I recommend. All right. have the cash there in case you get a sign. <clears throat> so that's called the uh, strangle, like you said, which is a strata which will sell both sides, but we're gonna sell a certain price yeah, the idea with the strangle is that the Apple will move it to 115 and 125 and, and nothing will get assigned. Everything's cool. It expires worthless. Do it every month. Then you get, in this case, $600 every month. If you don't have the, the spread, you'll get 1000 every month. But like I said, if Apple swings up, you're going to be in trouble. If it comes down, you're going to be in trouble in the sense that you're going to start losing share growth. And you better have that cash there to take that stock. Mm -hmm. It's an advanced trade. It's an advanced trade. You still your favorite trade out of all these is the covered call. It is because it's it's easiest and people get less trouble. They get they get less headache, they, and they they don't have to call me and say, "Hey, my cat got messed up. <laughs> I can't pay my bills this month." Um, okay, so uh, let me let me let me stand up, stretch my legs. Let's let's do the let's do the format's covered call and then we'll we'll wrap.
wrap up. All right. Okay. Yeah, so I don't as, understand. I don't understand yeah. the four minutes cover call. I, okay. Wait. So we have a hundred shares, right, on the cover call. Yeah. The thing is, that cost for Apple. How much does that cost for Apple stock? One twenty. Uh, twelve thousand. Right. What does it cost? What does it call it? Cost uh, for Comcast at forty four. Forty four hundred. What does it cost at Twitter? Stock price forty four. Forty four hundred. So. Um, it's a nice thing to get a return of 4%, 3%, 5% return a month. But if if you want to do the poor man, what you do, you buy a call option. So check this out. You can sell a call on a call option. So once you have the call option, you can write the higher call options. That makes sense? So if you have, let's say, Apple strike um, 120, you can actually sell the 130. In this case, you get 430 for selling the, one, the 130. Right, you told me you get 430. Yes. Yeah. It's a buy the 120. 120 costs like what? Um, maybe eight. Let's say it costs eight dollars. Let's say it costs yeah. Or let's say it costs ten dollars. Okay. So we're gonna put up a thousand dollars instead of putting up the twelve thousand. We're gonna put a thousand dollars. Okay. And we have the the we have the 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 call option for Apple. Okay. And we're gonna sell the higher call. So we're gonna we're gonna pay a thousand. We're gonna get back four thirty. That's a basic example of a poor man's cover call. Okay. But here's the thing. Um, that's a very risky trade because what happens if Apple goes down? You lose your initial investment of the thousand dollars, but you're gonna get four thirty. So you're gonna be out like like. 570 bucks. I want you to do that. The, the best way to do a permanent cover call is to go out like nine months. Okay. So you're going to, and you're going to buy a call, like, let's say at the money or, or deep or deep in the money. What I like to do, I like to um, pay one third, this is one third of the share price for the option. And what I do at nine months. Okay. So or you've got a year if you want, but let's say nine months is like the minimum because you want to have that call option. You don't want to lose that call option because that's your investment. When you have the shares, you know, you can, your shares can dwindle, but you're kind of still going to have those shares, you know. So when you do the poor man's cover call, you're going to buy this call option. You don't want it to dwindle. You want to keep it. You want it to have value. Otherwise, you lose your initial investment. So you, what you want to do is go in the money a little bit and go farther out so you have a solid, stable, foundation which is a better call option yes you said the 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 one the in the money call that you buy should be is one third of this what it would cost for this cat for paying cash yeah okay so 120 points by by 30 is 40 you want to spend four thousand dollars so basically i'm gonna teach you how to do a cover call a performance cover call with one third of the money so instead of twelve thousand right we're gonna spend four thousand on the call and then we're gonna we're gonna write the cut and that's for nine months out and we're gonna write the cover calls monthly to get income. So let's just do this. Um, if you were to spend four thousand dollars on a call option for on Apple and you're gonna go nine months out, uh, let's say what's what's this uh, October? So November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So we're at about July. Can you pull up? Uh, the call option for July, the the uh, option chain doesn't have to be July. It could be um, you know June or September. You know, can go out a year, but at least nine months. Ideally, for Apple. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Okay, let's see. Uh, which month do you say? Around, around July or August or June or September. What, what, what do okay. they have every month? Read the um, options. they've got they've got nope for for 2021 they've got January March April June September January and then January stop, of stop, stop. September you September because that, that's a little bit more than nine months it's not quite a year 11 months perfect okay so you go to September and then like yep. I said you're gonna pay one third so you know tell me the call that costs four thousand dollars or 40 points uh that's gonna be I might have to go more strikes. Here we go. 
Yes, my friend. Open up all those threads. Put all. All right. So four thousand. Uh, we're looking at. Well, for forty-one, there's forty-one hundred. Is the eighty-two fifty strike? Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy the eighty-two strike for September twenty twenty-one for Apple. It's gonna cost us forty-one hundred. Okay, write that down. September eighty-two strike costs forty-one hundred. Twenty twenty-one. That's a leap. All right. So that's our investment. Okay. Now that the advantage of that is that. See, I'm gonna teach you how to do it a certain way because you're gonna have. There's all kinds of different ways to do a point mass cover call. They're gonna tell you on TV, on Kramer, you know, I need you to tell, I need to tell you how it's going to work, how I have had success with it. Just do it this way. Okay. Don't try to get invented until you've done this many times. Okay. The, the idea that you're going to pay one third is, is you're getting an advantage because you're going to have to pay one third. So in that case, um, you, you have less investment, you know, and you're going to get a decent option, which is the 82, which is great. I mean, if you think about that, that's not even a lot of money, you know, because you're controlling 100 shares, you can write a cover call, okay? Yeah. And um, so you're going to buy that, you're going to spend 4100 4, and now you told me you wrote the 130 for 430 Yeah. So you're going to write the monthly every month. You're going to, you own that one call. It's the same as, not the same, but it's similar to owning 100 shares of Apple, okay? Right? Um, it is? Similar, yeah, because because uh, let's say the let's say that the uh, delta. I don't know if I talked to about delta before. Delta is the equal amount of shares you're going to get um, in value going up or down on an option. So uh, uh, if you have 100 shares, the delta is 100. So if you have a call option like this, the delta might be 80 or 70. So you're going to not get the full return on the stock price. That's 82. Where you're. Oh yeah. Delta is 82, yep. If you can see it from there, great, okay, 82. So it's like if Apple goes up one point, you have 100 shares, you're gonna make $100. But if Delta goes up and 82 goes up one point, you're gonna make $82. So it's almost as good as having this stock, but not really, not really. Follow me? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so now we have that call, we're gonna keep that call option, let's say for a year. And every month we're gonna write the cover call. So that's our investment is 4,000. And then we're going to write the cover call. In this case, let's say we're going to get 430. Okay. You'll probably write by September, you probably write seven or eight or nine cover calls. You could, you might write 10. Let's say you trade, you write 10. You're going to bring in 4,300 after one year. Write this after one year, you get 430 a month. You can get more on Apple. You can get six points on Apple. Like you said, you were writing the higher cover call, right? Yeah. But Let's say that you get only 430 a month times 10, you're gonna get 43 points or $4,300 income. Your investment is 4,100. So now what happened is you basically have a 100% return. Okay, a little more, okay? And that would be a goal. The goal is to have a 100% return on your performance cover call in one year, okay? Because there's a risk to this. So I'll tell you the risk in a second. But on a regular cover call, uh, you might have like what we said, 40% return, 30% return on Apple, right? We just talked about yeah. that. 3.6% times 10. We have a 36, 40% return, which is great. You can retire off that. But yeah. you can get a poor man's cover call going. You can have a uh, uh, 100% return, let's say. But here's, here's, a big, here's a big risk, okay? The market turns, if your stock crashes down, if your stock dips, that initial investment is going to start losing. Even if it's 82, if Apple goes down to 100 to 90, the 82 strike for next September is going to be like, instead of being 41 points, which you invested, it might be like 20 or 15. Yeah. So you're going to lose on that. You're going to lose uh, the majority of your investments should the stock uh, get killed, for example. And some people, they don't buy deep enough and their whole investment's wiped out. So you might think you're going to get 100% return. If you lose that four thousand dollar investment, you just broke even. You see? Yeah. If you have you had the shares, which is the right way to do it, you lost what forty percent on the share. Great. So hey, look, you got thirty six percent return on the premium. You lost forty percent return on the stock. You're out like four percent. No big deal. You wasted your time basically. You survived the bear market. But if you're doing a poor man's cover call, you put four thousand up, you get four thousand return. You lose four thousand. 
you have no investment, you're you 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 just zero. <laughs> yeah. Then you have nothing left. You didn't lose money, but you didn't make money. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so um that's basically what it is. You're taking a long term um call option. And because you own that, you can write um calls monthly, higher call. In this case, one thirty for four thirty, like you said. It might it might be that the one thirty pays less. It doesn't matter. The point is you're gonna write the strike that you want. Yeah. Let's try to do ten or at least eight. And then also, since you have that call option in September, I don't want you to let that expire. I want you to, let's say by July, I want you to roll that out to the next year. So, so this way- The one you own, you mean? The one you own, yeah. So you're gonna close that one, that, that when you pay 41.4. Let's say come July, let's say come two points previous or one point, one month previous or, or two months previous to the expiration. They roll it out for 2022. You understand? So yeah, I, don't want I, you to, I don't want. I don't want you to. To. I don't want that you take that uh, initial investment on the call option. I don't want you to take that to expiration. I want you to close it before and write another one for next year, and then do your whole poor man's cover call again. So the advantage is instead of getting 34 percent a year, you're going to get up to 100 percent return. As long as that poor man's cover call, as long as that stock stays constant, maintains its price, it goes up. You're good to go. But you, but you get, but you, when you start, if it starts coming down, you're going to lose, start, you're losing your initial investment. And then your return is going to be much less. Not be a hundred, might be 50, might be 20. You know? I don't understand though. Something I don't understand about the poor man's cover call is why would you, if, if you own in that call doesn't act like shares, then why would you buy that in the money call? And, and instead of just selling naked calls. Like I understand. Again, 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 now you're now you're comparing it to naked. To you can't compare it to naked calls. Okay, you're comparing oranges to apples. But okay. but but if you don't own the shares, isn't it still a naked call? Because let's say no, because you have the you have the the long you have the long uh, you have the call. So let's say the the stock swings up. Okay, they're gonna match you. They're gonna match your um, your call you sold with the call you own. So it's like when you own a call, it's like owning hundred shares. So at every every dollar that your call goes up, that you sold, your, your, the call that you own also goes up. So you're covered. So it's, it's like the poor man's cover call, you're covered by the lower, the lower option. And don't compare it to naked calls. It, it doesn't, that's a different strategy. I never covered that, except I, I mentioned it this time, but. Yeah, yeah, but so, Okay, on a covered call, let's. I wrote the one thirty call for this for yes, November. Yes, yes, yes. Let's say Apple goes up to one thirty one. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna take my shares. So I get the share growth. Yes, you sell the, I get the premium. The shares are gone. The shares are gone. Yeah. Let's say instead of owning a hundred shares, I own a, a deep in the money call for November. Yes, the, the eighty two. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and don't, I, I sell the one thirty. Don't say November. Okay, so you you now you're doing a different strategy. Let's do, let's talk about the poor man's cover call, which is next September, just like we said. Okay, let's use that example first. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 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 the actual but, question: is stock swings up, right? Yeah, like so. If I own next September's eighty-two fifty call. Yes. Deep in the money. And I sell this, I sell a call this month for 130. If Apple, can, before you go on, you can sell every, as long as you're on that call, a distant call, you can sell every month like it passes by up until that, that day. How you're, you, covered, you're covered by that call. You're covered by it. But, but let, let's say I sell the 130 call for November. November comes around, Apple goes up to 131. I get a sign. Does that mean now that I'm short at 130? Yes, but they're not going to actually assign you because they're going to take they're going to take your November call and match it up with your the call you sold. They're going to take your initial your lower call in this case 82 strike. They're going to match it up with your higher call, and they're going to give you the difference. So you're not really going to be assigned as long as you, as long as you own both both options. And that could be a sign. 
So just like, my so it's just like the cover call. Just like the cover call. If you have hundred shares, you know they take your your shares away. Yeah, but I take them away. They, wait, wait, wait. But you sell them. They sell your shares at that strike price. Yes. Yeah. If you do a cover call on Apple. Apple's one twenty. You get four thirty for the one thirty call cover call. You have the shares. It swings up to one thirty two. They're gonna sell your shares at one thirty, right? Yeah. They'll sell your your the call your call option. That's what they'll do. So you'll be even doubt. You'll get the cash for your cover call. You'll keep the cash for your premium on the high on the high end, and you'll have you have to start the position over again. So you do this, do this match it up. You're covered by your lower option. So always okay. own that lower option. It covers your option you sold. So you you're short the higher option, but since you own the lower option, it covers it technically, and so, so just match it up. So when you own the shares and you do a covered call, they take your shares. When you yes. do a poor man's covered don't, call- Don't say don't say take, say sell and give you the okay. cash value. Because when you say so, take, these novice investors think they're gonna take your share. You're, you're not losing, you're selling it at the stock price. Yeah, yeah. So on, on regular the covered on the, call, they're selling your shares. On a poor man's covered call, they're gonna, they're gonna sell close, your- They're gonna close out the long your call. call. Yeah. So they can, they can close out a long call that's for next year? Yes. Wow. That makes sense because it didn't. Do you see where I was like, why would I do a poor man's cover call if, if why would I want to be short on Apple, for instance? You know what I mean? Well, you're, in the way you're not short, you're really long because you want the stock to go up. You're getting money as the stock goes up. Um, you know, when your stock goes up, your option goes up. Your, your lower option that you own, right? You bring, you bring in money every time you write the call, you bring in money just the same. And instead of having to lose the shares or sell the shares, you're gonna, they're gonna match up your option uh, and close out your position. So on a poor man's cover call, it's not a bad thing then to get like assigned early because your long call is gonna, that probably wouldn't change much if it's like a, month, a year out, would it? Um, the price of the option? Yeah, because doesn't it have to get it like- changes, It changes, it, 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 it changes less. So like if, for example, if you have uh, forty-one dollars invested, yeah, for the, for the eighty-two next September, and uh, you write the you write the one thirty Apple for for thirty, which you bring in a four, which you bring back four hundred thirty dollars, which in a sense you're bringing back like ten percent already of your investment right there. That's why that's why I say you can get a hundred percent return if you do it for a year because as long as that that uh, eighty-two strike for September, as long as that stays forty-one points, which actually which actually it may not because Apple has to go up steadily for that option to maintain 41 points. See, so Clemens Coca also you lose is if the stock doesn't really consistently go up because you lose the time value, right? But as long as Apple creeps up minimum uh, steady, uh, your $41 investment, which is 4,100 will still be there next year. And you, then you, I want you to close it and open up 2022. So like roll it out kind of? Like roll it out. Yeah. So so and you're again the cover call income every month at 430 because you're writing whatever pays you 430 or less or more. Yeah. So let let's say Apple's 120 right now. Let's say next month Apple's still 120. Do you think it would still be about 4100 dollars probably or do you think be, it'd be uh, down to like 40, 50 or something. It has just gonna say 40, 50. Great minds think alike. It'd be 40, yeah. 50. Because you lose that one month of time value. Oh, okay. So I was thinking that far out, it would it would change like maybe pennies at the most. But you're saying there is still movement on those. Yes. But, okay. you know, if, if you look at the option for, let's say, December, it may be only half. This one this one for next year, it goes, it only goes down a dollar. Let me look at December real quick. For the 82.50. It'll uh, be December eighty two fifty is thirty six hundred. Well, actually, hold up. Yeah, that's the mark thirty six hundred. So are yeah, sure, are you sure you gave the are you sure you gave the right price for September? You said it was forty one. Sounds 41. like too good to be. Sounds like too good to be true. September twenty twenty one. Double check. Call option for Apple. 
if it if it's different, if it costs more money, it's just we do the same trade. It's just it's no, September was, September seventeenth, two thousand twenty one. It's three hundred and thirty six days from today. The eighty two fifty is forty one dollars and eighteen cents for the that's market. That's a great that's a great deal because it's only it's only seven dollars more than the December, and you're getting another nine months. You see. So man, Except, maybe maybe going that far out, it really doesn't it really doesn't move that much. It's a good it's a good deal. Maybe that's I should why I do say, that then. That's why I say when you want to buy, I, I want to close it out with this. I'm gonna close out with this. Um, you, you said that you don't like to buy car options, okay? I just want to share with you um, something. If you have a good stock that maintains and goes up. You understand how to share. You understand how to do a cover call. You understand that it pays dividends, right? You understand you can do mild trading. But if you want to buy a car option on that stock, you get your delta, you can increase your delta, which is increase your returns should the stock go up. Okay. So if you have, let's say, um, 100 shares of Apple, cost you $12,000. Okay. What you can do, you can sell like 20 shares. Okay. Now your delta is what? 100 shares of Apple, your delta is what? 100. Oh, 100, yeah, or one. And remember we said the delta was 82 for the- yep, 82, uh, 50, yep. Okay, so we can sell 100 shares, we can sell 20 shares of Apple, we'll still have 100, we'll still have 80. And our delta on that shares is 80. But what we've done, we've, we've released 20 times 12, we released $2,400. We could buy an option for that. I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna close out with this. It's too much. I want you to explode your brain. Yeah, you're getting deep now. Um, now I want you to do. I want you to spend twenty four hundred dollars on a uh, on a um a call out for Apple. But I want you to go out like to next year, like to, to like to March. Jeez. Like to April. No. Let's say March, go out to March and spend uh, $2,400. How much can you get? For the March calls for 2021, spend $2,400. What, kind of, what kind of call option can we buy? So I'd be in the money. Uh, for March, let's see here, $2,400. Uh, twenty four hundred. Uh, for the twenty four seventy, we can get the ninety eight seventy five. So we buy one call option, ninety eight seventy five, for March twenty twenty one Apple, which is five months. Okay. Yeah, five months to trade it. So what's happening is you're buying a call nice and deep in the money. You spend twenty four hundred. Now you're now you're going to increase your delta. So you're probably, you're gonna probably have. You know, I don't know, maybe like a 60 delta on that. So you went from a delta 100. We lost, we sold 80 share, uh, 20 shares, went to delta 80. Then we bought a call option. Let's say it's delta 60. Now we're delta 77, one, actually. Delta 77. Okay, yep. great. Thank you. So now we have delta 157. So it's like having 157 shares. Understand? So this is I'm gonna have how to we increase I'm going to have our, to watch this again. But it's how we increase our delta. Thank you for correcting me. It's how we increase our delta by just buying a call option. Don't buy it for next Friday. I'm, I'm like, never buy call option for next month. Never buy call option for next Friday. I always go three months, six months, in this case, five months down the road because this call option is going to maintain price, going to maintain value. If Apple may dip a little bit. If it goes up, you're getting $157 now for each point it goes up. So you need to increase your delta from 100 to having 100 shares. 157. Ideally, you'd want to have 120 shares. So you can sell 20 shares. You can still do the cover call and have a call option. How about that? Let's do a cover call and have a call option. So we're making money on both on both sides. When the stock goes up, we're making money. When it lost for share growth on the cover call, in this case, we have a, Apple 120, we sell 130. We lost for 10 point share growth. When we get the premium, let's say 430 a month. And we're gonna have a car option that's 2400, have a 77 delta. That's gonna give us $77 every time a stock goes up one point on or about the delta changes, but you know, it's about that much. So 
in this case, we're, um, we ha I think this is like a balanced position. It's kind of aggressive. It's kind of very long, but you're not going to really get in trouble. You know, should Apple slide, it'll go down more, but um, it's a way of increasing your opportunity to make money on the upside. Should you have a great stock that's going up? I think I said it right. Sell a few shares, get a call option, go off five months in this case, March. 98.75 cost 24 points. A little more, you said, a little more. And um, you're going to increase your delta, increase your upside. Uh, it's a high risk, but if your stock is doing great, you're, you have a cover call. Ideally, you have a cover call and a call option. Both. Yeah. Wow. Good? Yeah, it's good, man. Thank you. I'm going to send you this recording. I want you to write some notes. Your homework is going to be send me some, uh, some of your notes, send me some pics. Thank you. You're back in session. Let's do next week. Oh, good. Cookie. On ah. session 12, 12, you're going to do a Harvard presentation. You can't wear a tie. You talk to Mr. Morgan. He's going to be like, where's my money? Where's my money? How much? <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks, good. man. Thank All you, right, Vince. Thank you. All right, bye.